Because the current internet's major players make lots of money off your data, promoting misinformation, and pushing you ads, many people have been thinking of ways out of what is referred to as Internet 2.0. In an attempt to ensure no one company or person can control social media, many programmers created new social media platforms free and open source that all collectively work together called the Fediverse. ActivityPub has been approved by the WC3 or World Wide Web Consortium as the new protocol to connect all the Fediverse similar to how email connects and communicates with each other in spite of so many different email servers and companies. Examples of these are Friendica, PixelFed, Mastodon, MissKey, and Diaspora. Each platform has their pros and cons based on what you're looking for. Each platform is run by individuals who install the free open source software for that platform and cannot see, use, or share your data, and there are no ads or targeting algorithms. Instead of joining the platform, you join that person's server and it connects to the wider federated platform. This ensures that no one company can control your data or get powerful and hold a monopoly on anything. Sadly, because of this system of joining servers instead of a centralized website, it's counterintuitive and requires the user to make informed decisions without often having the time to get informed. There is also the problem that if a server decides to close down shop, you have to download your data and move it over to a different server, which is a bit of a process at this point, unless you have multiple accounts that mirror each other. There is also extreme hesitancy to join yet another social media platform, as most people over 30 have jumped through several different platforms in their lifetime and are burnt out on the idea. That said, the benefits for many outweigh the costs, as the social media sites are so much less toxic and much more enjoyable and wholesome, and you aren't contributing to dictatorships, misinformation, and genocide, like with the large-scale platforms who make money by boosting misinformation. 